Yo, what's going on, guys? It's I'm Truthify here or Rush Truth, and today what will you be giving? What I'll be giving you guys will actually be a commentary on Dan's channel or the number one pred, and the gameplay is actually me. Yeah, I got a triple chem strike on Strike Zone, playing in a six-man support team, and yeah, I got a one minute forty-five chem strike was actually my chem for the double chem, which was really cool, and I'm really grateful for everyone that played in it. Dan was actually in this game as well, and you'll be able to see right at the end me and Dan having like a little. Spin around the circle party kind of thing. Wrecking some noobs, getting them kind of beasty gameplays in here. So, what I want to talk to you guys about in today's video will be some crazy dream that I actually had once upon a time. So, I think I might have been 15. I'm 15 now, by the way, just to tell you. But I'll come, if I was 15, I was 14. And, um, it's a crazy dream that I had, basically. And, um, I was asleep, obviously. <laughs> and then, actually, in the dream, I was asleep. And I got woken up by some really loud, like, watery noises. Like, shh. And then I woke up from, well I woke up like in my dream anyway. Like whenever I say stuff like this, everything's in the dream, like not in real life. Until I say yeah. So yeah, I woken up and like my whole family are like screaming and everything. And I look, uh, from my bedroom window you can actually see the beach and everything. And like I'm on like top of a big hill anyway. So you can see over everything. And I could see a huge tsunami coming over here yeah. And honestly I didn't have a clue what was going on at this time. And I was just scream well, screaming, scre screaming, and going absolutely crazy because there's a fucking tsunami coming at us, and I'm getting really scared, yeah. So what we do is, I've got, uh, let me go through the pets and my family. So I've got my mum, my dad, my brother, me, um, my dog, my cat, my rabbit, and my two guinea pigs. And basically, we ran downstairs to get my rabbit out of the garden. We bring my rabbit upstairs into my room, like, don't know why we put... Everyone was in my room as well, yeah, and I was actually, I can remember because I was actually on the computer talking to people on Skype, and big shout out to Riz here in this video, I actually was talking to Riz on Skype in my dream. Yeah, I must have been 15, because I joined Rush in, when I was 15. So I was actually talking to Riz on Skype at the time, still even though there was a tsunami coming over, and we were all like, I, I remember we um had my dog in here, and what we didn't remember is that my cat, we forgot my cat was downstairs in the lounge, and I can remember it was just coming over really crazily, and it took... Like, there was two big tsunamis. One came over and it took the whole... It, well, it flooded downstairs completely. And we forgot about my cat completely at this time, basically. The whole the whole of my family. And then the next tsunami came over. And it actually flooded the down... Like, I'd say a couple of inches off the bottom of my bedroom. And by that time, we've pretty much got everyone on my bed. And we actually sitting on my desk. And I can remember, like, being really annoyed because... Qu um, my computer is obviously all on the floor and the wires and everything. I don't know, I'd say about 10 15 inches across the bottom of the floor. Um, so it's quite high up, I guess, for a, a socket. And it actually got flooded the socket and fucked up all the electricity. And the lights actually turned off. So this was probably about, I don't know, 6 o'clock at night. And it was quite dark anyway. It was about winter time. I think it was near Christmas actually when I had this dream. And it was quite dark outside and everything like that. And then another tsunami came over and it completely cleared the whole of our house out. And we actually get knocked out of our house, and we're in the middle of the, there's a main road the other side of this of my house, like out of my back window, because my um, window go my bedroom goes from the front to the back. I've got a 22 foot room, I think it is actually. Um, there's one side goes to the front of the house, one goes to the back of the house, and one goes from the side of the house. And basically, um, we could see the tsunami from the front. Actually, the back window was to the tsunami where it was coming from the beach front window is where we got taken through the smash through that glass basically and we ended up on the main road outside my house and I can remember that after that we were literally running um, I picked up my dog and my mum picked up the two guinea pigs and my dad picked up the rabbit and we were sprinting up this hill like because it goes like it goes up a big hill then it's a flat bit and then it goes up another big road um, hill and we're like on the top of the first big hill basically and we just saw ev well we didn't see everything well we did obviously but yeah and then it's just going absolutely crazy and everything and it was really weird i can't really remember the dream after that I'm i think i woke up actually yeah well, after i smashed through the window I, I woke up and yeah if you guys want to hear some more crazy stories that i've got i've got a lot of dreams because i know dr as a dream you kind of have some crazy wacky shit that goes along in a dream and in real life you don't really get this kind of interesting shit as much so I, I like to talk about dreams because I do dream about a lot of things. 
Giggity. <laughs> but yeah, I have got a lot of weird dreams that I've had in the future and in the past. I've got a lot of stories to tell on my channel that I haven't actually told on my own channel. I may even tell this channel, this story on my own channel because I haven't actually done it yet. But yeah, I've got a lot of school um, dreams to talk about, like funny dreams that I have had. And yeah, I, I am going to hopefully uh, hopefully finish this commentary. I don't know how long the gameplay is around. I think it's about six and a half minutes. So yeah, I'm just going to try and stretch the commentary out, commentary out for a little bit longer. So um yeah, I just want to quickly tell you what I post on my gameplay on my channel. I pretty much post chem strikes, nuclears, moabs, and um, whatever my subscribers are into watching at the time. Like, I started off my channel as a Call of Duty Ghost player, and then I became a sniper and deleted all my videos. And then I came back and I was uploading Black Ops 2 and MW3 because that's what snipers did, and I just carried on playing Black Ops 2 and everything. And then I ended up coming on to now playing back on the Ghost, and I actually didn't have any Xbox Live when I came to work to play Ghost again, so I was fucked. So I went and got um, three months Xbox Live and my headset, which was my Turtle Beach X12, because my I actually raged on the day I got my head on um, when I started playing Call of Duty Ghost again. So I had to go and do Turtle Beach. So now I'm back to back to square one again with my cams, and I've got a nice gameplay. It's got a 46 time streak being uploaded right this second, anyway. So yeah, hope you guys have enjoyed the commentary, and I'll speak to you guys on my next video on my own channel or maybe on Dan's channel in the future. Peace. One more quick thanks for letting me upload this commentary to Dan's channel. Thanks Dan.